the best Asus laptops don't just pack a punch. They're also just as stylish as HP's premium laptops and as robust as Apple's offerings. That puts them at the top of the notebook pile. In fact, with such recent and stellar offerings like the company's ROG Zephyrus series, Asus is quickly gaining a reputation that would match that of Dell's. With its ever-expanding list of excellent notebooks, Asus is making sure that it's giving consumers more options that give them a lot of value for their money. Asus laptops aren't just capable in terms of performance and design, but they're also more affordably priced than the competition, which makes them a better choice for folks who don't quite care as much about the name. If you're ready to switch over to Asus, we found the best Asus laptops, from affordable Chromebooks to high-end Ultrabook, from two-in-one notebooks to traditional laptops and, of course, some of the best gaming laptops on the market. Guaranteed, Asus has something that will fit the bill. And as always, you can check pricing for any of these products in the description below. And if I'm able to get any discounts or coupon codes, I'll include those for you as well. Now let's get started. Number 5. Asus Chromebook Flip C433 2-in-1 Convertible Chromebook deals don't get much cheaper than this Asus Chromebook Flip C433, offering everything you could need from a basic Chrome OS machine. There's a lot to appreciate here if you simply want to get more work done while on the move and you're happy to store most of your files on the cloud. It offers an Intel Core M3 processor along with 8GB of memory and 64GB of eMMC storage. That's pretty good stuff for a Chromebook and just what's needed. The storage means you've got room for Chromos and a few key essential files with the bulk of your content being saved on the cloud. Elsewhere, the Asus Chromebook Flip has some nice extras. For instance, it has a 14 inches touch display that folds back on a 360 degree hinge. With a 1080p resolution, images look sharper while giving you more screen real estate than the 11 and 12 inches Chromebooks that populate this price bracket. An energy efficient LED backlight proves useful as well. Weighing just 3.3 pounds, the Asus Chromebook Flip only measures 0.65 inches thin so it's ideal for carrying around with you between different locations. It also has a built-in HD webcam with microphone for taking video calls, plus there's a built-in media reader that accepts SD, SDHC, and SDXC memory cards. Looking nice and professional, this Asus Chromebook offers decent battery life too, so you'll be fine to use this throughout the day whether you're working from the office, coffee shop or anywhere else. It's a great all-rounder for anyone looking to keep costs down while still being able to work when out and about. Number 4. Asus Expert Book B9450 The Asus Expert Book B9450 lands on our best Asus laptops list because its battery life blew us away with a record-setting runtime of 16 hours and 42 minutes. We were so surprised, we asked our battery life lab tester to rerun the test. But the Asus Expert Book B9450 removed our skepticism and doubt by lasting another 16 hours. Carrying the Asus Expert Book B9450 around, whether you're a commuter or a frequent flyer, will be like carrying a feather. The lightweight Asus Expert Book B9450, having a dimension of 12.6, 8 and 0.6 inches, weighs just 2.2 pounds. Number 3. Asus Tough Dash F15 if you're looking to grab an RTX 30 series card but don't want to break too far past $1,000, the Asus Tough Dash F15 is going to be your best bet. In our testing, we found this budget-friendly machine to charge through even some of the more demanding titles as if it sat in a much higher price bracket, despite the weaker 4-core i7 11370H processor at the helm. Plus, you're still getting the super slimline form factor that has proven so popular over the last couple of years. The key here is that you can outfit it with the full 11th generation i7 1TB and 32GB RAM suite of turbo power, or you can pick up a more conservative spec for a little less cash. That means you won't need to spend on high-end gear that you might not even get to use if you're running less demanding titles. We were particularly impressed by how well those more power-hungry components played together in a cheaper chassis. We didn't notice any overheating issues here, and while we did have to make some sacrifices to more demanding titles, we still managed to hit 60 FPS plus on an RTX 3070 with consistency. We also tested an RTX 3060 unit and found similar performance levels when dropping a few sliders down a fraction as well, which means you're sorted at all ends of the budget here. Number 2. Aces ROG Strix SCAR 17 There's absolutely no question you can buy a much more sensible gaming laptop than this, but there is something about the excesses of the ROG Strix SCAR 17 that make it incredibly appealing. 
it feels like everything about it has been turned up to 11, from the overclocked CPU, which is as beastly as it gets to the gorgeously speedy 360Hz screen on the top model. Asus has pushed that little bit harder than most to top our gaming laptop benchmarks, and top the benchmarks of the best gaming laptops it does, thanks in the main to the GeForce RTX 3070 Ti that can be found beating away at its heart. This is the 150-watt version of NVIDIA's new Ampere GPU, which means it's capable of hitting the kind of figures thinner machines can only dream of. You can draw on NVIDIA's excellent DLSS, where implemented, to help hit ridiculous frame rates too. And if that's not enough, you can also grab this machine kitted out with an RTX 3080 Ti 2. The 17 inches chassis means the components have a bit more room to breathe compared to the competition too. And coupled with the excellent cooling system, you're looking at a cool and quiet slice of gaming perfection. This extra space has allowed Asus to squeeze an optomechanical keyboard onto the SCAR 17 which is a delight for gaming and more serious pursuits. Importantly, all this power comes at a cost not only to the temperatures but also to the battery life. Sure, you're not as likely to play games with the thing unplugged, but if you ever have to, an hour is all you get. I'm not enamored with the touchpad either while we're nitpicking. I keep trying to click the space beneath it, and my poor, callous fingers keep forgetting where the edges are. This particular model doesn't come with a camera either, which is a glaring omission for the price and there's a distinct lack of USB type of ports for the unnecessary arsenal of peripherals I'm packing. There are a couple of USB type C ports around the back to make up for it though, and I'm happy there's a full size keyboard. Such gripes are easy to overlook when Asus has managed to pack such an immense config in here. The frankly unnecessary 32GB of DDR5 4080RAM and that 2TB SSD are awesome but a bit over the top for most mortals. For a machine with a 17 inches chassis, it doesn't weigh the world and doesn't need two power adapters to work to its full potential either. For that, it doesn't feel as much like a hulking desktop replacement as we've seen. And that's okay, particularly when you crown a portable machine like this off with a 1440p, 240Hz IPS panel with 3ms response time which also does a smashing job of reducing glare. While you could get a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro with its RTX 3070 for half the price, spending $2,999 on this strict SCAR config will put you ahead of the competition with very little effort. And sure, it's not as stylish or as apt with ray tracing as the Blade 17, but there's a good $1,000 price difference there. And for something that can outpace the laptops of yesteryear in almost every running, I'd pay that price for sure. Number 1. Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 The new version of the Zephyrus G14 impresses us once again with its well-balanced spec and excellent gaming performance. Seriously, this thing shreds through frames up to its 120Hz refresh rate, and it's great for much more than gaming too. We checked out the version with AMD's RX 6800S under the hood, though there is an option for an RX 6700S for a chunk less cash. Arguably, that cheaper option sounds a bit better to us, as the high-end one can get a little pricey and close in on the expensive but excellent Razer Blade 14. It's not helped much by its 32GB of DDR5 RAM in that regard, though we do love having all that speedy memory raring to go for whatever you can throw at it. At its heart is the AMD Ryzen 6900HS. That's one of the top chips from AMD's Ryzen 6000 series, but not its best and brightest. Though you're really fighting over boost clocks and not much else when it comes to the tippy top of the Red Team's mobile processors anyways. It delivers 8 cores and 16 threads of the Zen 3 Plus architecture, capable of boosting to 4.9 GHz, so that's more than acceptable by me. That GPU and CPU combo makes quick work of our benchmarking suite, however, and I have to say I'm heartily impressed with the G14's gaming performance overall. That's even without turning to the more aggressive turbo preset. I tested everything with the standard performance mode. It's able to top the frame rate of RTX 3080 and RTX 3070 mobile chips pretty much across the board. And while it does slip below the RTX 3080 tie in the Razer Blade 17, that's a much larger laptop with a much larger price tag. One of my favorite things about the G14 is in the name. It's a 14 inches laptop. The blend of screen real estate and compact size is a great in-between of bulkier 15 and 17 inches designs, and not quite as compromised as a 13 inches model can feel. But the big thing with the 2022 model is that the 14 inches size has been fitted out with a larger 16 to 10 aspect ratio than previous models 16 to 9 panels. When it's running smoothly, the G14's high refresh and high resolution panel also looks fantastic. 
being such a bright and colorful IPS display on this model, you really get to soak in every detail. One of the downsides with this machine is the battery life, which really isn't the best while gaming less than an hour while actually playing. You'll get more when playing videos or doing something boring like working. But we do expect a bit more from a modern laptop. It's not a deal breaker, but definitely something you'll want to bear in mind. The G14 has lost that quality of being surprisingly cheap for what you get, too, even if you do get stellar performance out of it. Perhaps one reason for that is the inclusion of 32GB of DDR5 RAM 16GB of that is soldered to the board, and the other 16GB attached via removable SOD IMM from the underside of the laptop. That's not cheap memory, DDR5 prices have hardly settled down since the memory standard was introduced last year. And 32GB is a bounty of high-performance memory by comparison to most gaming PCs today. Overall, though, the G14 experience is a pretty easy and straightforward one. I didn't run into any major issues with it over the couple of weeks I've had it, and for the few negatives I have with the design. Asus has offset them with heaps of positives. The cheaper models may be a better bet than the one we reviewed however. The same chassis and great design but with a slightly more amicable price tag. So that wraps up our list of the best Asus laptops. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Also, please feel free to leave a comment, suggestions for future videos or questions you have, as we love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to our valid consumer family. We've got lots more videos coming your way into. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.